In completing the Survivor Stories presentation, many of you may feel nervous. Presenting in front of a class by yourself, even if it's only for three to five minutes, can be nerve-wracking. But of course, the best way to defeat your nervousness and present a killer talk is to prepare. So, let's talk about how exactly you prepare the presentation for success. As you scroll through the bundle on my big campus, you'll see some information about how to present. So, the step six presenting the project block tells you all about different presentation steps and requirements. But let's talk about exactly what you should do step by step. You should present an outline. The outline will tell you for each slide and each moment of the presentation what you're talking about. Now for your ease, I have told you the different stages of the presentation. Attention grabbing device, description of challenge, story of survivor, and the question and answer. But in these blocks, you would fill in the blanks with the different facts that you will discuss for your survivor and challenge and the visual aids that you intend to use. If you complete this outline in a detailed fashion, it will help you understand how you will conduct your presentation. Failing to complete the outline will mean that you will be confused as to where you are going with the presentation. So be sure to complete the outline. And don't take shortcuts. Your shortcuts only cheat yourself. Be as detailed as you can be to help you understand what each step of the presentation will entail. Once you finish with the outline, you should complete a script. You have, an a you have access to a model example script. The script means this is word for word exactly what I will say with each slide. Now, does that prevent me from improvising or changing? Absolutely not. You're never held to a script like this. A talk should be somewhat spontaneous. You should feel free to improvise, to add information, or to move more quickly through information, cutting some if necessary. But writing a script is an exceptionally important step because it helps you understand exactly what the presentation would sound like at the end. So be sure to write the script after you have written the outline. The script is organized according to slides, so it'll help you understand what to say with each slide write the script, write it completely, and practice it. The visual aid should be simple and straightforward. It probably won't take all that much time. But actually, students often take more time designing the visual aid than they do writing more important documents like the presentation script or the presentation outline. The outline and the script are more vitally important to the presentation than the visual aid. You should design the visual aid, of course, take time to do it, and think about it. But it is an outgrowth of the script and the outline. So make sure that you have your content and the movements of your presentation down before you work on your visual aid. If you're working on the two together, that's understandable. But your work on the outline and the presentation script should lead to your work on the visual aid. Next. Once you have the visual aid and your script ready, you're ready to rehearse. Don't forget that we are using MoveNote for rehearsal of presentations. If we haven't gotten to that yet in class, be patient. We'll get there. We'll get there soon, and you will be able to use your script and your visual aid to practice your presentation online, record your rehearsal, and share it with others for feedback. If you have completed each one of these steps, the outline, the script, the visual aid, and rehearsal through MoveNote, then you're ready to present. A three to five minute presentation should be no problem. If you skip any of these steps, or you take shortcuts to reduce your workload, then realize that you are locking yourself into a more difficult presentation, which will probably lead to a lower grade and, more importantly, lead to you being extremely nervous on stage in front of others. Avoid that by taking each step you have the time in class and out of class to complete them. Feel free to ask questions through the My Big Campus discussion forum and prepare for success.